Welcome back, guys. We're doing some more Helldivers, and between the last episode and this episode, we finally were able to unlock the mechs. And I keep, I just keep playing, and I keep forgetting to record for the actual channel itself. Ooh, we got an announcement. Okay, <laughs> you get to pick which assigned job you get to have. All right, I mean, that's kind of cool. I don't know. Um, but no, between the, the last episode and this episode, we were able to unlock the mechs, and I, I should have recorded footage right as we got the mechs, but oh my god, I just keep forgetting to record for this game. But this game is eating up my life, and as you can see in the bottom left, like my, my level just keeps slowly climbing. Um, I'm actually curious, how many enemies have we killed with so far in our career? To let any enemies kill, 2,400? Oh, it doesn't, like, keep track of... Automata. I think, like, their record-keeping right now is kind of busted. Keeps track of my total kills. Uh, missions won, missions played, Mich in mission time. Like, yeah, like, all this stuff is, like, I think their servers and their stat checking and stat tracking is getting just overrun by stuff. Um, but we're gonna play this time with, I think, we're gonna try some of the Terminated Planets. Did we do Terminated Planets last time? We might have, but I want to be able to showcase the mechs. The mechs are better on the Terminated Planets than they are on the Automaton Planets. I think the future mechs, because I know there's a couple different models of mechs we're going to be getting in the next update. I think the current one we all have access to is probably best for Terminated Planets. On the Automaton Planets, those things kind of get destroyed. As the, those guys can beam us down from way across the map, and it's not really worth using the mechs there. Unless you're like doing the last little bit of a defense mission. Um... But let's jump into a suicide mission, and let's kind of see if we can play with the mechs for a little bit. Alright, we're jumping in with some three randoms that we got lucky with. I've been watching a lot more videos as far as how the armor penetration works in this game, too. It seems armor pen works really well. I I still have a, of the opinion from my last video that certain guns in this game do need to be buffed. There are a lot of, like... I don't even know how to explain it. There are a lot of, like, bait weapons in the game right now where they don't really do a lot. And not exactly what I would call meta. You are the best of the best. Live up to your name. Live up to freedom. Oh god. We're here to destroy bug holes. Um we're here to launch the mech, so let's call in a mech unit right now. Tagging map. Oh, they already found the super samples. Nice. Oh god, I can't see a thing here. Oh, my team went off in the other direction. Oh, should be okay. This thing can handle most everything. I shot too low to the ground. I was trying to aim really low against the, uh... Oh my god, we all died. I was trying to aim really low with the, uh... I was trying to aim really low with the, uh, the mech suit. That's kind of the thing that kind of sucks about it. Like, if you aim too low at a target that's right below you, you accidentally, like, just blow yourself up by mistake. Uh, I'm gonna call on my orbital laser. We can be a little bit li more liberal with this. Sort of bug holes. We got the super supplies, that's all that really matters. 
Uh, I don't know why, but this planet really is difficult to, like, look around at. Uh, oh, no. Oh, there's a spore tower nearby. That was why it was kind of hard to look at stuff. Tremors detected. Oh. Uh, it's going to start earthquakes. It's going to periodically stun us. Uh, we're slowed. Oh, boy. Oh, but the enemies are slowed, though, too. God, I picked up the wrong gun. I think they just detonated a nuke just now. Apparently I was misjudging the flamethrower from before. I think it was shadow buffed, or it's actually like the patch didn't go through properly, but like it does really good damage now against the chargers, weirdly enough. Oh, the nuke's about to go off. <laughs> I shot the nuke to kill it. I was like, yes, it worked. Uh, I'm gonna throw a Gatling gun just Always to help. an extraction, which is good. I mean, we're basically done with the mission. We got the super samples. Oh! Stop it! Oh! Oh! Oh god, he blew himself up. Oh my god, the flamethrower is not loaded! Load! Jumping in back into the mech. What the hell? Oh my god. I think the I think my teammate stood right in front of me as I shot a rocket and it blew me up. Oh boy, we're not doing a very good job showcasing the mech. They are very finicky. If you're not very careful, you'll just blow yourself up randomly somehow. Ow. Uh, I'm stuck. I don't even know how I got stuck. How did I get stuck? Oh, 
Ugh. I'm trying to stand it. They're not letting me stand it. Oh, sorry. I don't know whose mech this is, but I'm taking it. Oh my god, it like literally just took a small swipe at us and we instantly died. Not a good sign. Uh, I was kind of hoping that the uh, the mechs did kind of need like a uh, health bar so we can kind of get a good sense of how much damage it can take. We can call him in. Oh, we're getting, we're getting, oh no, he didn't drop in yet. I should have gave it a couple more seconds, but they were getting like earthquakes on the ground. I was getting scared that I couldn't move, so I had to dive. It'd be a much different type of mission for the part two of this like suicide run. It's just kill their, just, just kill terminates, that's it. And they've increased the time it takes to kill all the terminates and they increase like the amount of terminates we need to kill. Allied destroyer has left squadron. Uh, looks like frequency stun, uh, high temperature, cooldown increase. Sure. Uh, I want stamina enhancement if our stamina is gonna be running out a lot. And if we're dealing with, uh, October twenty sixth Liberty Day, I wonder why that's special. It must be something like an Easter egg from the first game. So lame. Alright, I guess we were kicking too much butt in the previous version of this mission. Thankfully, my, uh, like, my campaign is saved. So, like, I was able to get right back into the exact same mission on the exact same planet. And we're going to have another squad of four. And hopefully we can do what we need to do to actually win this stupid thing. It's always, like, when your squad is too efficient that it's just like, nope, you've got to crash the game. It's not, it's not worth it. I'm dropping landmines everywhere, baby. We got Tesla Tower back there. We got two sets of landmines in front of us. What the hell? We killed them both so quickly. Oh, it's because they have a, a mech unit right here. Oh, God. Lasers going everywhere. All my landmines are going off. This guy is instantly killing them with all the rockets he has on that stupid mech. All right. 
right, we survived the first wave. No worries. My Tesla tower! It just stepped on my Tesla tower! Oh my god, that thing sucks. People are dying. How are people dying so fast? Oh, he landed right on the Bile Titan. But I think he got instantly melted by the laser. Instantly died from that. Oh my god, we're getting we're getting shredded right now. Oh, the little guys are just swarming us. Screw this. Uh, get in mine. Don't hold the left trigger at the sign. Is he stuck? Oh, he's stuck. He can't get in. Oh, we landed right on top of him, but we didn't kill him. Oh, his body fell out of the end of the... Oh, he didn't get the like, evac. Oh, man, that sucks. Oh, man, that should have been Glory's victory, but we didn't extract everybody. Now it's going to be like, oh, only four out of five stars. Failed to extract right. All right, we're going to go to the last mission, finally. The mechs are proving very useful in very tight pinches, although my teammates are, like, killing them. So I'm, I'm guilty of this, too killing myself with the mech by accident, but I wish the mechs had, like, health bars. So we knew exactly uh... exactly how much health we could have. We're gonna go at the edge of the map. Uh, I'm going with, like, a light scout build. So I'm using, like, an SMG and a revolver. We're using flame grenades in case we need to actually, like, well... Actually, I'm going to use uh, impact grenades. Most of us are using impact grenades. Actually, I'm going to use uh, incendiary grenades. Stratagems here. We might need heavy heavy weapons or heavy arsenals. Uh, I want to do some ad clear at least. Arc thrower... 
guard dog. I am going to primarily focus on ad clear for my team. I also want to be light and nimble. I don't want to draw too much attention to myself. Yeah, it reduces the range in which enemies can detect our wear. So yeah, this is going to be like... This is like the lightest and nimblest class we can give ourselves. Uh, let's change our helmet so we at least look a little bit different from our teammate. Trip is important. You gotta look good while, you, while you're spreading democracy. Looks like our team, some of them are focusing on heavy, heavy, like, heavy weapons to take down all the chargers we're probably going to run into. I'm trying to just focus on just ad clear. I want plenty of ad clear to not... And I also just want to be fast and nimble. We need to be fast. I think our last teammate is debating on what to run. He's running a shield pack, grenade launcher, laser, railgun. We have three railguns, actually. Oh, God, most of our... What the hell? I don't have any stratagems. I am missing a lot of my stratagems, actually. I'm gonna try to kill myself and see if I uh, get my stratagems back. Yeah, I'll let them call me back in. I... I am missing all of my stratagems. What the hell? I am missing all my stratagems. This isn't good. I'm gonna need to. My team is gonna be wondering why. Why did all my stratagems leave? One of the guys... I had to kick one of the guys because they were taking so long to join. Hurry up, hurry up, hurry up, hurry up. And I lost all my stratagems as a process. Not good. I'm gonna take this because I don't have anything else to take. I have the anti-material rifle. I mean, I'm basic. I am a scout sniper right now. I'm not gonna lie. Found this. No stratagems. I have a resupply and the Patriot exosuit. We're really gonna have to be very strategic with that. Dropping a pin. Wax. 100 meters. Yeah, me too. No Collins. 
The rest of the team doesn't have any call-ins. Even one of my teammates just now is like, yeah, I have no call-ins either. Oh, no. This is going to be kind of tricky. I can't even call you in. What the hell's going on? Calling in reinforcements! I have call ins. Calling in orbital strike! One guy has call ins, he has orbital strikes. got killed by a bile spewer just like the aerial bombardment thing landing on top of me was an instant kill oh wow oh my god stand up Arr. Wow, the, that Bile Warrior killed me with a single swipe. I I am very nimble, but I don't... My armor class should be at least a little bit better than just instantly dying from one shot. We gotta get back to those... Uh... I might just call in my exosuit right now. It's they're like they're like destroying it before I even had a chance to get into it. Oh man, this game is really, really, really screwing me over right now. This is not good. Oh my god. I have literally no Collins now. Why did all my Collins get dis deleted? I wonder if that's just a bug. Or if that's like a stratagem for this location? I don't think so. I literally have. I just have the resupply now. I need to get my anti-material rifle because that's literally the only thing I can use right now. My, my Patriot Exosuit got immediately destroyed before I could even jump into it. Uh, I'll take one because... Screw it. Say, where's my? I'm looking for it. Oh, there it is. I need that. I am getting instant. I cannot live very long. I think this armor suit has like the least amount of armor possible. I am like shocked that I can get killed so quickly. 
I know it's a high difficulty, but like they're taking like one swipe at me, maybe two, and I am dying. Uh, I need that anti-material rifle, because that's like the only thing I can use. I think it's lost, honestly. Don't know if I can get to it. I might be able to get to it. Oh. Okay, I got to it. Give me... I'm gonna juice myself to run fast if I don't get slowed by something. supplies. Tactical asset near your position. We need the artillery because we don't have anything to use. I just got surrounded randomly, and I don't know how. I should be really hard to see. Definitely need the, the artillery piece. The call-ins here are going to be like in instrumental for us. Some people still have access to orbital stuff. It's just for weirdly enough me that I can't go on stuff. Come on! Wow, how did he miss with it? Down 
We gotta run, we gotta run, we gotta run. There we go. Uh, we gotta try to make our way to like the... To the Sam site. God, it stepped on me. Oh, it stepped on two of us. I we need that stuff. I can't leave that stuff behind. I need the shield backpack, I need the samples, and I need my sniper rifle. Stalkers, four of them. Two hundred meters. as hell Oh god, our blue guy died. What did he have? Tagging map, southwest, 200 meters. Reinforcing! I'm gonna go help the blue guy. Cause he's the one that lost all the super samples, I think. Enemy tactical asset within range. Stalker lair, yeah, these things are spitting them out.
I'll get him for you, bro. We need those super samples. I'm pretty sure he got killed by a stalker. There we go. I am not interested in trying to doing all the extra objective stuff with the limited objective, like, stratagems we have. We just need to get in and get out. I mean, I'm getting my I'm getting my playthrough and my uh my immersion put back into the game. We're basically being forced to use like the bare minimum. What is it, empty? After we get this ICBM launch, we need to get the hell out of here. All right, it's launching. We're leaving.
Sorry, boys, but I'm not playing games here. I want to get out of here. This is not turning out good for us. What an idiot. Why would you quit? We're literally about to extract with all the goods that we have here. We're leaving! Let them have their fun with their mechs, but we are leaving. I need- I have the majority of the supplies, Boro. I cannot risk my life for you guys. We need to just go! Get in! You're gonna get left behind! Oh my god. He had a lot of them too! Oh my god. You. You dingus. You have maintained our way of life. I mean, despite the fact that our last mission bugged out on us and we were like short on stratagems, the mission actually went pretty well. I wanted to like roleplay as like a scout sniper. And using a revolver and SMG and the anti-material rifle, it weirdly was kind of fun. Although it was just dangerous. I would I don't a lot of the team, according to them, also didn't have access to their stratagems. So only like one guy, maybe two, had access to like a variety of stuff. Uh, I, I also had a good chunk of the samples. I'm like, nope, I am not risking my life to just get some more kills with the uh, the exosuit. I am leaving. And, well, I mean, it turned out alright. I mean, it was a good playthrough. I mean, I don't... I don't know. The mechs, I feel they're fra They're both very useful and very fragile at the same time. Um, far too often, you're, like, not sure how low you're aiming, and you're trying to hit something, at, like, below you while you're on a hill or something, and you'll just shoot a rocket, and it just instantly kills you. <laughs> or worse, like, you call on the stratagem, and... Like, a, we, there was a perfect example during this. Like, we called on a stratagem. I was trying to get into it, but, uh... A, bile spewer just spit on it and it just blew up instantly um i think the, the exosuits definitely need some sort of health bar like you have when you're on foot so you can kind of like determine how much damage you can take they should be slightly tankier i feel like the we on foot can tank more rockets than and more like smashes from chargers than those exosuits can those things look fragile as hell I think they need a very slight health bump, or at least a health meter, so we can tell how much damage we can take. Um, they are fun, and they are very useful. I think right now you can call in up to two. Um, when the new expansion comes out, they might include more uh, ship modules, where like your exosuits might get more health. Maybe they have faster movement and turn speed, and then like maybe you can call in like an additional one per mission. That would be kind of cool. Um, if not that, then they should at least benefit from like the emplacement stratagem like benefits where like uh what is it called like the engineering bay like reduces the time for the sentries to get called in it like lets increases the health of the sentries which could be for the mech and then 
allows removal time, maybe just they instantly comes in, but also just like increases ammo. It'd be nice if they got more ammo somehow. And then uh, allows us to rotate faster, maybe allows us to like move, look around and like, uh, maybe like our strafing speed can get increased. I don't know, they, they're fun. I know that there's gonna be a couple different versions of that mech suit in the next update, but uh, I think they just need a little bit of tweaking. I know they've said in their Discord pages that they're planning on tweaking the spawn rates for uh, the automatons and the, and the turbinates, because you can always get, people are complaining about getting stuck in like a, in a reinforcement loop and not being able to like call on your shadow gems or get a, a moment to breathe. And then like the majority of your, the majority of your revives get wasted in the process of like just trying to survive a battle um people are saying that as as you destroy outposts and as you destroy like fabricators the enemy presence should reduce i mean why else would you be destroying the outposts if that's not the case um that sounds like a good idea but i don't know and also there just needs to be better balance patch we need more of these guns to be looked at um like the like i can i get why the liberator exists now it helps deal with some of the heavily armored like the brood commanders um the, the smgs uh, they're all right i still think that they could use a little bit more tweaking at least give them i don't know their damage should be really good up close and their range should be really bad in order for them to be justified over the liberator because the liberator has 55 45 15 and this one has 70 45 10 so it has less recoil, it has the same capacity, it just deals more damage. Uh, the fire rate's a little bit lower, but I think the overall damage output is better for the defender. Shotguns-wise, we're doing alright with the shotguns. Each one has their own slight niche. Uh, the explosives, this thing needs a buff for sure. And I think the scythe also kind of needs a little bit tweaking. Um, it should be able to light stuff on fire over time, like, like if you just focus on a target long enough. It should, like, light them on fire and then continuously keep doing more damage. Uh, sidearms, I mean, they're all kind of unremarkable. The majority of the people playing this game are just using the Redeemer because it has 31 in the mag. It has it does the exact same amount of damage as the basic Peacemaker, but I think it has, like, it has slightly fewer mags, but, I mean, you can still defend yourself way better than, than the, the Peacemaker. But the Senator, I don't see a lot of people. Some people run it just for fun, like I was just now, but... I feel like it loading shell by shell, if it's loading shell by shell, it should deal way more damage if it's loading shell by shell. It should be like a pocket shotgun. It's like the least damage of all the shotguns that we have on offer. Like the, the incendiary has, you know, deals 180, but it holds 25 in the mag, so you can really spew out plenty of damage. This thing needs to be at least dealing 300 damage to warrant it being... Uh, a poor sidearm. Like, something to take out, like, a big target if it gets really close to you. Um, you know what I'm saying? Just, some of them just need a little bit tweaking. They, they don't nerf more of the meta stuff. We need to buff other stuff to give them more than just, like, some of these guns are only, I only ever see them on the lower level difficulties. On the highest difficult set, difficulty settings, we rarely, if ever, see them. And I would like to see more diversity, but the majority of the time, people are just running shotguns on the Terminator planets, and, like, Mostly shotguns on, like, the, the automaton planets. You might see the occasional dude losing the penetrator, but that's that's basically it. Um, anyways, oh, and, like, there there are other guns that I've yet to unlock, too. Um, from what I've seen other, other uh, you know, reviews for weapons, the Spray and Prey is pretty good. It basically does what the Breaker does, um, just doing slightly less damage. Um, or at least what it used to do. And the Scorcher is probably, like, one of the best weapons to use against the automatons because it's, like, explosive. You just gotta be really close, or really careful when you're using it up close because you can instantly kill yourself. Um, but again, that's very niche. It's really good against the automatons for taking down, like, the skiffs and for taking down, like, the walkers. Uh, not so good against the terminids because you don't really need that explosive damage to bypass shielding. I don't know. But that's just my opinion. Innocence if you guys... I know. Uh, but uh, if you guys have watched up until this point and you guys enjoyed what you guys have seen, be sure to leave a like. It helps with the algorithm, even if you don't really care about the channel all that much. And be sure to sub if you guys just like watching more of the Helldiver stuff. I'm having fun with it still. I can't wait for the next update just because I hope it brings a more, some more balance patches and updates. I know they're closely monitoring the game and the community's feedback. 
uh, the community's kind of split on the game either being too easy or just not being fun enough like it used to be, but yeah, it is what it is. Uh, with that being said, guys, we'll catch you guys all in the next episode. Bye, everybody.